last one with our feet still. Forward, back, through. Awesome. Okay, one more thing. Now, instead of setting up with both of our feet pointing that way, let your front foot go ahead and open up a little bit. Yeah, because when we're so far across our body, the biggest challenge before even throwing the baseball is coming all the way back around. And what do we do most of the time? Instead of this leg coming through, it's like we're balancing afterwards and then we fall backwards. If some of our energy after we throw is going back this way, are we throwing the ball as hard as we can? No. Okay, so now I want you to step. So we're here, we're just gonna come back and step and stay on that same line. Were we missing high, were we missing low, inside, outside, or kind of just everywhere? Come on, you don't remember any of it? I, I think it was like a little. Okay, all around. I feel like I was actually missing a little bit more high. A little bit more high? Like, okay. Yeah. So then all I want us to focus on today is staying down that line instead of coming across. And I want us thinking instead of throwing the ball just with our arm, I want us to throw it with our chest too. So when we finish, this front knee is right here. We want to drive that yeah. chest to that front knee. Mm -hmm. And the back leg is going to take care of itself, right? Yeah. We're gonna throw it with the same intensity, and we're gonna throw it just like we throw our fastball, except now I'm throwing a fastball with these two fingers instead of these two fingers. So a lot of times when a kid your age or even somebody my age tries to throw a changeup, what do they try to do? Slow their arm down, they try to make it move, right? Yeah, yeah. If we throw it like our fastball, the laces are gonna take over, and you see how we have four fingers on the ball now instead of three or two? Yeah, you're right, two. These fingers, or what's gonna make that ball slow down. That's what we call choking the baseball. Choking it, okay? So if you smack the top of my hand with your glove, go ahead. That ball doesn't move, right? When we throw a changeup, I wanna be loosey-goosey with it. So now go ahead and smack the top of my hand. That's how, that's how hard I'm holding that baseball. But I'm still gonna get aggressive with it at the end. Right, we want a gradual energy transferring to him. We're finishing going that way, not that way. So Towns, now what I want you to think, okay? So we're pretty consistent. We're throwing a ton of strikes right now. We have so much energy, so much torque that's coming through. Our glove is starting to do this. And coming way out here, yep. So I don't want you to force it in there, but I want you to stay athletic just like you are now. And I want you to think when you're finishing, this glove is gonna just gradually come right here and it's never gonna leave. Instead of the old oh, flying out. Yep, everything else stays the same, come on. Right, so I want you to think we're good with the line. The back leg's coming through, we don't even gotta think about that. When this foot hits the ground, I want you to land soft with it, but I want you to be nice nice and strong with this leg. We don't want it to collapse on us like a, like a cheap lawn chair, right? Or a beach chair that we go to pick up and it just folds. We're gonna be soft, and then we're getting over that leg instead of going through that leg. Bro, give me some. That was nasty. Sometimes with pitchers that throw harder, it's just a matter of starting early. Yeah. This way you can kind of repeat that same, like, you don't want to feel like, oh man, she's throwing really fast, I want to rush. It's almost like you want to slow down, but just maybe start, again, I don't know how to do a softball motion, but maybe start when she gets here, so your load is still that same smooth, you know, it's, it's still controlled and not jumpy. Go one more with that back, and then we're going to work on down and in finish. I don't want you to feel like we're trying to accelerate here because what happens if you try to accelerate with your front shoulder this is going to get long and you're going to end up getting jammed so you still want to stay like relaxed with that front arm it's just a matter of getting the barrel there instead of accelerate here and then this gets very spinny and that's what that's what's going to cause you to hook all right good what's up still a little bit you're kind of getting here with it, yeah. like this, you're almost cheating for it. And if you cheat in, 
we're gonna get beat with anything out or half. So all I want you to do is get up close. I want you to almost relax this whole front side. We're gonna go no stride. And I just want you to think about staying in your posture. <laughs> get here and we're gonna freeze right in extension. So instead of hitting those like low ground balls short, it's gonna be more stay tight and stick it right here. Chest over the plate, stay high. Good. Good, really good. Good. All right, if you're only looking here, you're gonna get beat here. So I love like middle, like thinking like red pole to red pole, we're trying to just drive it to the big part of the field. Yeah, just be careful you don't like get up there and you say, all right, I wanna get out in front of this and I wanna spin on it. Cause you get a drop ball or a change up away, you're gonna roll it over. There you go. And your goal, I'm gonna flip balls right here, inner half. But I want you to go no stride, so get to your launch, like good wide base. Okay, get out to. Perfect. So all we're gonna do is we're gonna try to stay in our posture. So butt back, chest over the plate, and we're gonna think about thinking inside seam. We wanna to try to swing without touching that neck. Does that make sense? 